Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and update and kind of finish with Hero Siege. So I wanted to give you guys pretty much the updated version of our Pyromancer. If you guys followed the previous video. So I'm going to go ahead and create a quick game in Hell 5. And we're going to go ahead and jump in so I can show you. Alright, it's going to be a little bit of a quick run since I'm a bit late for something. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about my gear, flash it. Then I'm going to go show a quick Satan run as Satan in Hell 5 drops your best in slot accessories to my knowledge which are called these Hellfire Halos. So when you're at the late game version, you'll notice I still have the RF ring, but we're not actually using the RF ring to clear anymore. Um, in my opinion, Hell 5, the damage kind of spikes up a lot, and what occurs is you end up dying to a lot of on death effect or lightning on hit. So I decided to pivot into Hydra, which is basically, if I just click this little tab here, it will respec our tree into our second swap, where we prioritize Hydra. Now, shout out to a guy named Gaming Guru, uh, Gaming Guru Gabe, who actually helped me out on stream. Basically, uh, normally you would want to specialize in your main skill. So you click the middle here at level 100 and you'd go into Hydra. However, it's actually like double the damage to specialize in Breath of Fire with Hydra spec. To explain a little bit more about what we're talking about, way later in the game, when you get things called Angelic Keys, you can go ahead and gamble to get a specific augment. If you look on my body armor all the way at the bottom, it says Augment Hydra. DLDR, the Augment Hydra, makes it so that Hydra now shoots Breath of Fire alongside Fireball. This makes Hydra a valid form of clear and gives you a shit ton of damage. The reason I talk about this is if you hit Escape, go over here and click the Augment, then sort by Pyromancer, you'll notice there is nothing for the Aura. So you pretty much have to convert. You could go Blazing Trail if you wanted, but then you'll run into the issue of dying to the random on death effect shit that I was talking about before. So first I'm gonna go do a quick Satan run, and then after Satan, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the gear. So basically what I do here, I have an Enigma body armor. Uh, Enigma is used to basically TP around. So usually I will just TP and drop kind of like a Hydra or two, um, depending on like what pack I see. And then if the loot filter goes off because like a Satanic drops or whatever, I may pretty much go get that. This spec is really easy. You literally just press teleport and Hydra. Occasionally you have to chug your HP bots and your MP bots, but for the most part, everything is pretty smooth sailing. There's a, a bit of a misconception, I think, with Hydra. People say it stacks infinitely, but I think you can only have... It's either 15 or 20 Hydras out at once. You don't actually need to keep spamming it. Now, over down at the bottom left, you'll see I have a Flask setup. The one on my right here is called a Witch's Brew. It basically fully heals your HP and your MP and gives a bit of recovery. The one over here on my number one essentially gives me a giant damage multiplier to targets who are burning or it's a burning damage multiplier either way it's it's pretty cheap and very strong so and then i just have standard hp and mp potions you can see here just going into that pack we dropped to like half life and it was primarily the on death effects because i actually have a decent amount of defense on my character our enigma has 4000 so we're actually at 16000 defense so we're not very likely to get hit by attacks problem is spells well, let me actually change this because the dps thing is not correct also when you're doing the satan 5 run you can peek these for relics it's actually not too bad there's like a chest here sometimes a chest here a chest here And we're almost at the boss. Let's see, can I change the DPS meter thing? How do I even move it? Oh, there we go. Reset outside of combat. There we go. Alright, so I just preset a Hydra here and here. And then I just kind of just dump the Hydras in his face. Okay, and that's pretty much an H5 Satan run. So let's go ahead and talk about the gearing now. So, uh, on my weapon of choice, it's the same weapon from the previous video. You'll see a divinity here. You can make this with a rune word by looking it up right over here. Uh, I'd say the two best stats on it would be uh, magic skill damage or high plus all skill. You'll see I have magic skill damage is 45%, and this is its own multiplier. You want to make sure when you're doing this, you use it on a one-hander, not a two-hander. 
Uh, over here on my shield, uh, extremely strong shield, this is what helped push me into H5 in general. It's called a Crematorium's Pledge, also in Rune Words. Uh, I opted out to use this on a base that I think has uh, just a bunch of life, nothing really that crazy. Five socket shields are a bit tricky to find, so I would have preferred this on like an all skill base, but it is what it is. Very strong shield. You want to make sure when you're pushing into H5, you want to try to cap your Ignore Fire Res because it is such a big damage multiplier for you. Speaking of Ignore Fire Res, a common place to get this would be a Lava King's Mask over here. You can see the minus 16 we've got. You can use a Solar Charm, but I replaced mine for a Gas Canister. The reason being is now that I'm wearing two Hellfire Halos, I capped my minus enemy Fire Res without using a Solar Charm here. Solar Charm was just basically minus Fire Res, but a bunch of minus enemy fire res on top of that. Uh, this is my Enigma. In the previous video, I was using an Enigma that just had life. This one has all skill with enhanced defense. So it's a very nice Enigma. Very, very good overall piece of gear. Um, my amulet is currently a Philosopher's Stone because I need the all res. It's very hard to res cap in this current setup. Uh, you already saw both of the rings here. Over here, Soul Burn Belt, also very good. Uh, very high minus enemy fire res, so pretty nice. Over here, Grasp of the Phoenix. Uh, extra burn, extra damage to burning monsters is a separate multiplier, so this is very, very important if you want to shoot your damage up. Also, they give 8 mana per second, which is very nice for Hydra setup. And then over on our boots, we're wearing Pearlescent Dream, another nice piece to help us cap our resistance because of our current gearing. Um, speaking of our resistances, if I flash it open here, you'll see there are 75 all, and a large part of this is because of the Mercenary. On my Mercenary, I'm using a rune word called Aurora's Might. Aurora's Might, if you look all the way at the bottom, it says Lunar Aura level 23. If you're using this on a two-hander, it actually rolls higher value, but my Merc is set up for Magic Finds, so he's using a Leprechaun's Breed. If we look at the Lunar Aura, you're actually getting 46 all res, so I use my Mercenary to help res cap myself so I don't kind of get obliterated. Over here, the skill tree is pretty straightforward. You can pretty much see what I have put points into. For the most part, it is one point for synergy and then maxing out the stronger synergies. So that's pretty much how it goes there. Uh, do note that Fiery Presence is very strong later because fire skill damage is its own multiplier versus just standard increases you get off of synergy. So that's why Fiery Presence later typically is taken over synergy. As for my hero level, you can go ahead and kind of take a peek here with what I did. Um, I pretty much rushed over here for the XP gain, the all skill, and the magic find, although I really want to go over here for the all res, all attribute, and movement speed. Uh, I have favored to run Glyph of Survivor Shield, which kind of prevents you from getting shotgun. Basically, when you lose 35% of your maximum life, you get an immunity bubble for X amount of time, so that can prevent you from insta-dying when a whole bunch of hits are occurring. And then down over here, I've got Mystic Might, or sorry, Mystic Insight, which allows them to crit. Corrosion is also another really good one, and I didn't really do too much past that. As for my charms, um, I'll go ahead and flash what I'm using. Anubis Ankh charm for basically life. Uh, over here, a magic skill damage charm since it is its own multiplier. Just some enhanced defense life charms, nothing crazy here. I didn't find anything super good. Uh, a Torch of the Shadows for plus three pyro, all res, all attributes. Magic skill damage charm. A flat fire, which is really only like 0.5% damage increase. It's not a lot, I just never replaced it. Another enhanced defense. Over here, we got a Satan's Chalice for plus three fire. Uh, over here, a Hardened Steel Defender for armor, which is physical mitigation and life. Uh, enhanced defense, a big amount of life on this one. And then the Gas Canister for plus five. As for my relics, I believe you want to max Magic Mushroom because of all attributes. I believe you want to max Bible because at level five and level 10, it hits breakpoints for plus one all skills. Bonsai Tree is not needed. I would recommend a Triforce because it gives all attributes and all resistance. And then instead of this old sock, you can go with... I don't remember what it is. I, I think there's like a Chalice. So whenever you cast, you have a chance to heal. This one's kind of like up to you. It's kind of like your flex spot, like I sort of like to say. Other than that, I think we covered everything. We broke down basically our gear. We explained our charms. Went over the skill tree. Went over the hero tree. Here's the Merc tree. Uh, I intentionally removed Taunt because he was dying late game with Taunt, so I stripped that off, so I did not want to use him. Do note that if you're dying on your Merc, or if your Merc is dying, consider going with the Aurora's Might for res cap for your Mercenary as well. Anyway, I think that is pretty much about it. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to catch me streaming live every day about Sundays at twitch.tv slash pox. We're currently doing an Elden Ring playthrough. It's my first one, and it's a bunch of fun. 
So I'll see you guys all later.